Congratulations, future Spartans, on your provisional admission to San Jose State University. We're excited to invite you to our virtual Admitted Spartan Days event from Saturday, April 9th to Friday, April 15th. During Admitted Spartan Days, we will showcase our academic majors, our colleges, our support services, and many of our student leadership opportunities. Topics will include financial aid and scholarship, frost and transfer orientation, housing, student involvement, athletics, career, career center, and much more. Um, I think it's important for students who attend Admitted Spartan Days because it gives them a chance to learn a little bit more about campus, all of our resources that we have, as well as housing, um, some of the things that they might not get to know that much about when they just come for a regular campus tour. My favorite part of campus is definitely Tower Hall. I think it's just a great place to hang out. One of my favorite things about San Jose State University is specifically the diversity. I'm able to meet so many different types of people of all ages and of all cultures. Yeah, I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. If you're feeling kind of nervous or kind of uncomfortable or it's your first time, um, I would say make sure to ask any questions that you have and take advantage of the staff that are being there with you because their, their whole goal is to help make sure that you are most comfortable and most confident coming into San Jose State. So don't be afraid, don't be shy, and yeah, make connections. That's what the school is here for in the first place, to help you guys succeed. If you do come to San Jose State and you do become a Spartan, you'll fall in love with the city and you'll fall in love with San Jose State and everyone around you too as well. These events are specifically for you and your family, so we hope to see you there virtually. Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans. Welcome, welcome to our Admitted Spartan Days 2022. Thank you so much for joining us today, future Spartans, families, guests. We are incredibly excited. I am personally excited to welcome you to the San Jose State community as an alum of San Jose State myself. This week, Admitted Spartan Days has a ton of programming, live, pre-recorded, great opportunities for you to get ready for the fall connect with departments, hear from future Spartans, and be ready for that next step. So we're going to dive into this here. Again, our Admitted Spartan Days is a virtual event happening from today, April 9th, all the way until Friday, April 15th. So make sure to check out all of our programming on our website, sjsu.edu slash Admitted Spartan Days to be able to see the full lineup of events, pre-register for these sessions and learn more about what San Jose State has to offer you. I can personally explain how SJSU has transformed my life, having been now a double alum of the university, but experience it for yourself. Get to see what opportunities are available for you, the resources, and just a glimpse at Spartan life. My name is Amanda Aldama Fernandez, and I represent the Spartan East I Promise program in student outreach and recruitment at San Jose State University. I've been here for about 11 years now, first as a student and then as a staff member, so I am very familiar with what the Spartan journey is like and I'm excited to guide you through this next step. Our welcome today is going to have several components covering what the admitted Spartan days will look like, We'll have a greeting from our interim president, Brez, a greeting from our vice president of student affairs, Patrick Day, a panel from our vice president, as well as our associated students president, and a live Q&A. So a lot of great opportunities for you to learn what is happening. So a lot of you are logged on. Thank you again for logging on and joining us early this morning. You might still have questions, though, about what is Admitted Spartan Days? Admitted Spartan Days, again, April 9th through the 15th. Our lineup is available at sjsu.edu slash admitted Spartan days. Today, we have our kickoff where we're going to cover what this event will look like. We have our college open houses shortly after our welcome. So make sure to check those out. Ask the questions you have about your majors. If there's a minor you're considering, learn more about our college student success centers, the resources that are available to you and academic support. So check that out again on our website if you have not already registered for your session. Then at 2 p.m., we have our live virtual campus tour. Get to hear from our student ambassadors and get that exclusive look at our campus with the insight from our current Spartans. 
check out our programming on Sunday. Sunday is going to be a go at your own pace, sort of like a choose your own adventure type day where you can explore the campus virtually. We'll have several pre-recorded sessions for you to be able to explore, share with your family and friends and get familiar with our campus. Following this, Monday and Tuesday, you'll see is a wide variety of student support programming, Spartan Life programming. Again, register for these events at sjsu.edu slash admitted Spartan days. As we move along to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, again, a wide variety of sessions. I can truly say that San Jose State University is a community of support. Wherever you turn, someone is willing and ready to help you to get along to that next step. And now is the time to get connected, learn about those resources, and prepare for the fall semester. As we move along, we have a greeting from our President Perez. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Perez. I have the privilege of serving as the interim president here at San Jose State. I want to congratulate you on being newly admitted future Spartans. I'm glad you could join us and other members of the campus community to learn what it's like to be a Spartan. I'd encourage you to take full advantage of every opportunity you can to learn about what we offer here and what your experience would be like. So if you have the opportunity, please come and take a tour of campus. Walk down our Perseos. See your fellow Spartans out on the tower lawn. See the wonderful historic buildings we've got here on campus. It's a really beautiful place. We're the most transformative university in the country. And that's a very special place for us. We try very hard every single day to be able to provide to you the greatest educational experience we possibly can. We seem to have hopefully turned the corner on COVID-19. We're going to have even more in-person experiences come fall than we have now, and we have more now than we had last semester. And we're going to create an environment where you can interact with each other, your other fellow students, our faculty and our staff, and our community that is safe, but enriching and transformative. I hope that you take this week to learn about us and learn about what it would be like to be a member of our community. I think you're gonna see that you'll really like it here. And I can't wait to see you next year as a brand new member of the Spartan community. All right, thank you to our President Perez for kicking off this amazing week. Now joining us live today is our Vice President of Student Affairs, Patrick Hayday. Thank you so much for being here, Patrick. Thank you, Amanda. <clears throat> so happy to be with you. This is one of our, our favorite days. Of the year. And it's one of the, one of the reasons it's our favorite because we get this opportunity to welcome new Spartans. We are so happy to be with you throughout these days, throughout this week. And we wanna make sure that you take full advantage. Again, my name is Patrick Day and I serve as the Vice President for Student Affairs. It's my pleasure to be one of many people who are welcoming you to San Jose State University. Um, the oldest university, the oldest public university on the West Coast. Um, and we are so thrilled that you are planning on becoming a part of this 160 plus year legacy. Um, it's not an accident. We do this very well and been doing it for a very long time. As, they, as the saying goes, it's not our first rodeo. It's not even our first pandemic. And yet Spartans continue to move forward, continue to succeed and continue to do really amazing things in this community and the world. But let me say, first of all, to all of you, to our, stu our future students, I want to say to you, congratulations. Congratulations for getting to this point. I know it, it wasn't just haphazard. It wasn't an accident. Uh, it wasn't something that was easy. It wasn't something that, oh, it just sort of fell out of the sky. It happened because you worked hard. It happened because you brought your talent to bear. It happened because you didn't give up. It happened because you stayed focused. And you stayed focused at a time that is different from almost any other time that has been experienced by anybody who is currently living. I want you to think about that for a minute. That's kind of a big deal. Through all of that, through this worldwide pandemic, you still made it happen. We are so excited about that. I wanna acknowledge that and I wanna say thank you for that. But even though, as I say, and I, and I acknowledge what has been uh, all of our experience and certainly your particular educational experience over the last couple of years, but I also want to say to all of you, as we, we begin this process in, of becoming a Spartan is that your story is not one of 
a pandemic. We want you to come to San Jose State University because we want you to begin writing the rest of your powerful story. Yes, this will certainly be a part of it. That will certainly be a large footnote. As I tell some of my current students, I say to them, you are now gonna be one of those people, if you remember your grandparents and your great grandparents talking about these things that happened in history that seemed just sort of otherworldly, you're now gonna be one of those people that when you are talking to your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren, will be talking about a world history event. All that being said, that is still not your story. Your story is to be written and we want you to finish writing it at San Jose State University. We want you to continue your educational journey at San Jose State. We want you to continue moving towards your goals at San Jose State University. We think this is an incredible place for you to do it. We've been around so long and this has worked so long because there are things that we do really, really well. And we want you to be a part of it. You will hear me say this many times and I will continue to say it because it continues to be true. The very best part of San Jose State University is our students. And so when you think about coming to San Jose State, I want you to think about joining a legacy of hardworking, diverse, interesting, talented, committed, thoughtful, reflective, serious students. That's what we want you to become a part of. As I said, it's not an accident that you're here. It's not something that just, just occurred out of nowhere. It happened because you put yourself in a position to be here and your parents and family members and so many people who supported you helped this to occur. Now we wanna be a part of your next journey. We want you to be a Spartan. We're so excited that you're here and want you to take full advantage of, of these next days. Um, the, it, we are virtual throughout this experience and I know we are in the process of coming back. Our campus is bustling right now and we will be back even more so in the fall. For those of you who'll be joining us this summer at orientation, hopefully all of you, we will be in person for orientation. And what I want to say to you as students and what I want to say to parents and families, part of us being virtual today and then moving to in person is as we have gone through this pandemic at San Jose State, we have been in a slow and deliberate process of making sure that our community, all the members of our community could be safe. And for the most part, we have been very successful. This has been a campus that whether you were in class or if you were living in the residence halls, these were safe places to be. Um, we have been a place where our students are the primary reason that we've been safe because they have been responsible members of this community and done all of the things that have been asked of them such that we could have a community that was not uh, racked by outbreaks. And we're very proud of our students for that. As we go forward, we will continue that. So. As you see us moving very deliberately, we have different kinds of rules. Sometimes they adjust, as we all know. Um, what, what I can tell you is that has worked for us. So we're, we're virtual during this experience. And then in the summer, we will be in person. And then we come back in the fall. The vast majority of our classes, we anticipate, will be in person. Now, again, as I always like to uh, add the caveat, we will adjust as our world adjusts. So I'm saying, you, I'm saying to you things that are, we anticipate right now and that we're fairly confident about, uh, but we will always adjust to try to make sure that our campus is as safe as it can possibly be. Um, so I want to say that just so everybody understands why we're here. And certainly no one wants to be on Zoom for eight hours a day. And so that's why we are spread over the course of the week. We are so thrilled that you're here, though. And I want you to take full advantage of each one of these days. I want you to dive in. I want you to ask the follow-up question. I want you to make sure you send emails. Everybody who is in front of you over the course of these days are people who are here to help you. So please reach out. Please let us know. Let's, let's make sure that we start your Spartan journey in absolutely the right way. Now, I could go on and on and on because I love talking about San Jose State and I love even more talking about our students. But I think Amanda is going to transition me, and so I don't want to get cut off. Uh, again, I will say welcome to you, and I, and I know we're going to uh, have a little bit of question and answer, but we are so excited that you are with us, and we welcome you to this great place that we call San Jose State University. Amanda? Truly inspiring. Thank you so much for being here, Vice President Day. Today, we also have joining us and participating in our upcoming panel, our Associated Students President, Anoop Carr. 
Thank you, Amanda. I am so excited to be here. What's up, Future Spartans? My name is Anoop Kaur, and I am the 2021 to 2022 Associated Students President. As we slowly ease back into this new normal, it is my honor to welcome you all to San Jose State University. I champion your resilience and your commitment to pursuing higher education despite the many hardships paid we have faced as a society. You are taking a major step forward during uncertain times, and I congratulate you for earning your spot at SJSU. We welcome you with open arms. I hope you all get a chance to celebrate this momentous occasion with your loved ones as you enter this new chapter. So just a quick rundown, we really want you to know that Associated Students are University Student Affairs Student Affairs Division and many other campus departments are here to support you if you choose and uplift you as you embark on this college journey. At SJSU, everything we do, student success is at the core. You are not alone and we are a support system for you. You could potentially join a campus of 35,000 plus students, 450 plus recognized student organizations, and a diverse group of amazing staff, faculty, and admin. Your presence would enrich our campus, and I'm excited to be with you all at the start of your journey. You may face roadblocks along the way, but if I've learned anything in my years at San Jose State, it is that it always works out in the end. And so Associated Students, our mission is to support and represent the students of San Jose State University by continuing our legacy of student advocacy and leadership enhancing SJSU students' education through high quality programs and services and preparing students as they move towards a thoughtful and purposeful life after graduation. Our mission is to strengthen the Spartan community through access to opportunities that inspire educational growth, personal development, and innovation. I would like to remind you all that college is more than academics. And you're not gonna hear that from your faculty, but it's more than just going to class. So it's really important just to do more, to get involved. And that's where Associated Students comes in to help you develop as an individual holistically. You all have the unique opportunity to make use of these resources, get to know these various campus departments and, and learn if San Jose State is the right home for you. So please enjoy this moment. Um, once I do see you at San Jose State, I encourage you to get involved and maybe join Associated Students. So welcome to the San Jose State family. I wish you all a college journey as fulfilling and memorable as mine. And I look forward to potentially seeing you on campus next year. Spartan up. Thank you so much. So now both of our campus leaders are going to share their insights, their experience, as well as their advice for future Spartans through our Q&A on Campus Life. So starting off with our first question here for both of our panelists, in what ways would you say that SJSU stands out in comparison to other campuses? President Core. <laughs> I was waiting for you, Vice President Day. Well, I would say San Jose State is definitely a unique campus. So being in the heart of downtown, um, being in an urban area is an amazing experience. The campus itself is so connected to the food spots, the culture around San Jose. And so for me, that's the way in which San Jose State stood out. The fact that um, you know, we are an institution, but more than that, we are a community, both on campus and off campus. And that's why I chose San Jose State as my home. Well, I, I would agree. I think um, Anoop has captured it. Look, there's not going to be too many opportunities to go to school at um, uh, one of the, the oldest institutions in the United States, um, but also a place where you can major, you can choose from a major of over 145 different um, and be able to do that in the heart of Silicon Valley, uh, but also connected to the Bay Area, one of the most robust urban regions uh, in the world. Uh, that's that's significant. And to be able to do that at a cost that is, is very reasonable relative to other institutions of higher education. For so many of our students to be able to do that down the street or out your back door or a quick train or bus ride away. That is an opportunity that is unmeasured that students across the country um, would love to have. 
And so I think there are, are so many things that stand out. The diversity of our campus stands out. Um, the ability to be a part of this campus, but as Anoop said, to also be a part of this community. So it's the ability to go from class, to go to an internship, to your job, uh, to be uh, to volunteer, to do so many incredible things. I mean, that's what we love about San Jose State is the ability to come here and be able to go anywhere you decide to go in the world once you're done. Absolutely. Related to that, our next question is for Anu. What were the top three things you were looking for when deciding which school to attend? Thank you, Amanda. And let me just preface this by saying, you know what, students, take what you want and leave what you don't. So what I want to say for me personally, why I chose to come to San Jose State, a big one was diversity. And so I wanted to go to an institution where I could see myself and I could see myself succeed and I could see people like me um, having access to opportunities. And so that's one of the things Vice President Day just mentioned, the diversity on our campus and the fact that you meet so many different people with different life stories and being exposed to that was a big reason why I chose San Jose State. The second one is opportunity. So Vice President Day just mentioned internships, the campus community. And so being involved on campus has been amazing, but having that opportunity to go off campus and also connect with different community organizations, philanthropic efforts, neighborhood associations, internship opportunities was a huge reason why I chose San Jose State, right? So as a first gen student, it was really important to me to have access to these opportunities and have access to um, this financial freedom to explore job opportunities in San Jose. And the last one is a very realistic one, right? So accessibility. San Jose State, you are paying a great cost, a great cost, I need to emphasize this, for the education that you are getting, right? And so student debt is all on our minds. And so that's why San Jose State was a very realistic option for me because knowing that student debt is on the horizon, I wanted some place that I knew myself and my family could afford. Thank you so much. Our next question is also for you, Anu. In these past few years, campus life has been a mixture of remote and hybrid activities. How did getting involved on campus shape your experience and your career aspirations? Thank you, Amanda. And so in my little spiel in the beginning, I said something a little controversial that college is more than going to class. And so let's not tell the professors I said that, but just remember that your college experience is what you make of it. And so a big part of the mentorships, the job opportunities that I received were not in the classroom, they were outside of it. So before I answer the question, again, I'm just gonna throw it at you, get involved. And there are 450, recognized student organizations for you to choose from. That is a very unique thing, right? Not a lot of colleges have that many organizations, have that many niche um, set of different groups coming together. And so, yeah, it has been definitely interesting getting used to this remote environment and this hybrid environment, but it has created a great experience. And I know Vice President Day could talk about the success with our Spartan Speaker Series. We were able to host Simu Liu um, right after actually the movie Shang-Chi came out. And that was an amazing experience for our campus and it happened remotely. And so I would just like to emphasize that no matter what the modality is, it's important that you make the most out of the experience. And that's what we've been doing this, these past few years. Despite the hardships, our community has been focusing on um, ensuring that our connections are remaining strong. And we've done that through events, through access to resources and meeting students where they're at. And so, yeah, that didn't mean we went remote sometimes and had hybrid activities, but getting involved and still participating in those remote and hybrid activities motivated me and made connections for my for my postgrad life as well. So um, just keep that in mind that getting involved can also um, help with networking. So when you're talking about your career aspirations, um, those could be outside of the classroom. 
And those could be people that you meet during these events. And so it's always important to put yourself out there. I know it's a little scary, but use your first year, your second year to put yourself out there. And then your last two years, you can focus on what you really love and where you really see yourself growing. I know that went everywhere, but I hope that you found something valuable in what I had to say. Absolutely. I would say just my own experience at San Jose State, these opportunities are not extracurricular, they're co-curricular activities that go hand in hand with that Spartan journey and that life after SJC, which just really continues on. As we go on to our next question here, we've received several questions regarding the fall 2022 semester, how it will be handled in regards to the COVID-19 restrictions. So this question is for Vice President Day. What are the different modalities for classes, hybrid, online, or fully in person? Right, no, I appreciate this question. This, this is one that we'll ask and answer multiple times between now and the fall, uh, because it will evolve. Um, but right now, we are planning on the vast majority of our classes uh, being in person. So 70% plus of our classes will be in person. Now, to be clear, so we're also, we just level set. We have always had some class, classes, we have some whole programs that are virtual. So that's not new. Um, we have some professors who have discovered that for some of their courses, being in a hybrid modality, where sometimes you're in the classroom, sometimes you're virtual, has actually worked for them pedagogically. So we have some professors who have decided to remain in that modality for a particular course. Um, but we think right now, the majority of, of our offerings will be in person. Um, again, we, we don't know exactly where that is going. So I don't have the exact percentage, but we are anticipating 70% plus um, will, be, uh, will be in person. And some of this, I think Anoop said something important. Some of this is we've learned some things. And, and so part of not being able to say, here's exactly what it's going to be, is our professors who've gone through extensive training to make sure that their offerings uh, academically are strong um, have, have learned to be able to do some things differently. Um, uh, Anoop mentioned our Spartan speaker series in the co-curricular space, but we've also learned things in the curricular space. And so for some faculty, they have made determinations that are different than what things look like in fall of, of 2019 um, around how to best deliver their curricula. So that percentage for the vast majority of students will be, a, it'll be an in-person experience. Um, and now we are, we have, uh, the majority of our coursework is in person now, um, and uh, our students are, are having pretty robust engagements. And what I will say also, just so for people who have concerns, as they should, um, what we have found is that um, our classrooms have been, uh, have been safe. And so that when we have had uh, moments of, of uh, uh, some students who have tested uh, positive, we have not found those as being attributed, attributable to classroom settings, more likely um, settings out in the community or social settings. So I say that again, not because there's any guarantees, uh, but to just sort of level set. So we all have some sense of what um, uh, kind of where we're headed, what makes sense. And, and what I'll say again, always as a caveat, we will continue to monitor uh, the same things that many of you are monitoring. We will continue to understand what um, the Santa Clara uh, Health Department uh, is, is saying. Uh, we will certainly be looking at the CDC. We'll look at the American College Health Association. We will look at all sorts of indicators to really understand what's going to make the most sense for our community. And as, as we have learned over the past uh, couple of years, we, we will adjust and we will adjust as we need to adjust to try to make sure that, that our campus is as safe as possible. Uh, but we've learned a lot and we're thinking about a future that, that may in fact have more hybrid and virtual offerings uh, because we have that that works for lots of students um, even outside of the pandemic. So this is a real time of, of figuring out the future. And I think we are pretty deeply engaged in that right now. But to answer the question directly, we anticipate that the vast majority of our classes will be in person. Great, thank you so much for letting us know about what's ahead as well as constantly that we're adapting right being one of the most innovative campuses in the nation we're constantly adapting to support the campus community now our final question here is for both our panelists starting with a new 
Why are you proud to be a Spartan? Can you tell us what has motivated you the most during this last year? Thank you, Amanda. That is a big question. Um, and so, oh, I, I, don't, I don't even know where to start. Um, I would say I'm definitely very proud of being a Spartan. And that is because of the opportunities allowed. And being at San Jose State, being a first generation student of myself, seeing students like myself, all of us pursuing our degrees together in this community space has always felt made me motivated and made me proud. So it's, it's a double entendre. Um, and so I'm very excited for you all to potentially experience that community. And I can tell you that um, during my like roughest patches, I've always had mentors and study groups and friends come to me and support me. And I feel like that is just something ingrained in our community, right? That we are all in this together and becoming stronger together. And that's why um, I feel that San Jose State is the perfect home for me and why I feel like it's a perfect home for you as well. So I, I will, this is a, yeah, I could, I could go all day on this question. I will not. Uh, however, um, this is really easy for me. Um, this, I'm proud to be a Spartan because what I've seen from, from our students. Um, and, and whether you are a student whose grandparents went to San Jose State or you're a first generation student, um, whether, whatever side of town you are coming from, I have seen students find ways to be successful. I have seen students reach out and I have seen uh, students achieve incredible things. Um, students who have come here and, and made up their mind and decided to, um, to pursue a particular kind of career and I've seen them do it. I've seen them be admitted to graduate and professional school and now they are off across the country uh, as well as in, in within the state and, and some even enrolled at San Jose State uh, in graduate and professional programs. I've seen incredible accomplishments by our students and there is nothing that is more motivational uh, than watching that growth and that journey, whether you're coming directly from, from high school or you're transferring from one of our, our many uh, community college partners. Um, however, students have gotten to San Jose State, I have seen them navigate this with great resilience uh, this past two years, uh, but I've also seen them continue to participate in the experience of their life and their educational journey. Um, uh, Anoop mentioned our Spartan Speaker Series and we had similar, we had 2000 people on the Zoom. Um, and again, that was one of those things that happened and the timing was incredible. Uh, but what we have seen is that students have decided that they are not going to be derailed and they are going to continue to move forward and so when we talk about being transformative, this is why. Uh, it's, and so when you ask me what, what has motivated me, it's that. It's seeing all of these students who have said, you know what, I'm still going to make it happen. I'm still going to press. I'm still going to get the things done that I wanted to get done. I'm still going to meet my goals. I'm still going to believe that they can happen. So if my internship now has to be, to be virtual, so be it. Um, if I have to uh, engage in my student organization where we are in a room and we're sitting great distances from one another, so be it. Um, if I have to take some classes virtually, some classes in person, some classes in a hybrid mode, so be it. Um, I'm going to do all of those things it takes in order for me to meet my goals. There is nothing that's more motivational than that. Seeing our faculty, our staff, parents, alums, all of these folks who continue to be dedicated to this legacy uh, of this amazing university and seeing our students walk through that, um, that is, there is no more motivation, uh, nothing more motivational for me than that. Thank you both for sharing your experiences and your Spartan pride. Now, if you are ready for this fall and your next step in your Spartan journey, Join us this afternoon. We have a live virtual tour happening at 2 p.m. today. The link will be in the chat shortly for you to be able to register if you have not already done so, as well as several of the sessions coming up, including the virtual college open houses starting right now. We have pre-recorded sessions coming up on Sunday tomorrow, so make sure you check those out. They are again at your own pace, be able to explore with your friends, with your family, get familiar with all of the support and resources that are here to help you on this next step on your Spartan journey. Make sure to check that out again at sjsu.com 
www.edu slash admitted Spartan days to view the full schedule of events and the links. As we end our session here today, I want to remind you if you have any questions for us beyond today, reach out. We are here to support you. We're excited for this next step for you and to be part of this experience with you. So please go ahead, send us an email, follow us on social media, either on Instagram or TikTok at Future Spartans. Our number is there, our website is there, and we are here to assist you with this next step. So thank you once again for joining us for our Admitted Spartan Days. Welcome. We can't wait for you to be Spartans. Have a great rest of your day exploring our campus. Take care.